Suppose you tell me why you were stealing one of our calves. I wasn't stealing it. Millie Bainham, you shouldn't tell lies. I was only helping the calf to get loose. I couldn't go away and leave it all snagged up in briars, bellowing its head off, could I? Who told you to steal that calf, your stepfather? Look at me, Millie. What do you expect folks to do when they go hungry? Cattle rustling's no way to make a living. We turpentiners could make a living. If you cattlemen didn't burn down all the pine forests to make grassland... Well, that's no excuse for stealing. Why, well, you could be sent to jail. Go ahead. Send me to jail. Can't be so bad. I'd rather go there than... Then take that beating your stepfather promised if you didn't steal a calf? to give you, Millie, but I guess I can make you a present of my rope if I want to. There you are. Gee, thanks, Mr. Autry. You're welcome. Just remember, any time you need help, we'll ask for it.
Come on, or we'll be late for the cattlemen's meeting. We were here before the turpentiners, and whether they like it or not, we must burn off more pines and increase our grassland. I agree with Audrey. Let's burn all this pine country off as clean as a prairie. Then our stock will have plenty of grass. I'm with you. Let's do it. Come here, too. We'll get rid of them thieving turpentiners once and for all. Let's get started. Oh, Just a minute, Dad. We have no right to burn off that land. It's free range, as much the turpentiners as ours. You're not by any chance taking sides with them, are you, Gene? No more than I'd take sides with anyone that was being wronged. Why, I never heard you talk like this before, son. It's that girl's fault. Huh? What girl? Millie Bainham. That's a lie. Didn't me and Galloway see you on the trail with her about an hour ago? We met by accident. I suppose you gave her the calf by accident. What's this? Why, you'd have done the same thing, Dad. They were starving. Starving? And you believe that, knowing old Bayless Benham has been rustling our cattle just like the rest of these turpentiners? I don't believe the turpentiners are stealing all the cattle they're blamed for. You mean they sort of wander off and get lost all by themselves? <laughs> <laughs> I mean that someone's been stealing our cattle and blaming it on to the turpentiners. Why, they couldn't begin to eat all the beef that's been missing. We're wasting our time standing here talking. If we start a fire in that thick timber on Green's Cove, it'll burn off the entire county. How about it? Yeah. Yeah. That's a stuff. Right, but some of the turpentiners liable to be trapped and burned to death. That's their tough luck. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Cattlemen are going to fire Green's Cove. Green's Cove? Why, it'll spread in all directions from there. Shut your trap. What for are you telling us? So you can get your families and get out before you're trapped. I'm still asking, what for are you telling us? There's not much time for questions, Pa. How do we know he ain't lying? I know he's not. He's the one who gave us a calf. Get going. Turning again your own kind, are you? Call the men, Zeke. We'll lay for them cattle fellers on the ravine road. I'll tend to you when I come back.
Take your time. Wheels change. They're trapped between us and the fire. Time to drive off that bunch of Buckley's cabin. Yeah. on the turpentiner's side. Where are you going? To get some water. Dad's been shot. You ain't fooling us. You're running away. You're crazy, I tell you. Save your breath and get moving. Somebody must have warned the turpentiner. Yeah, it was Gene. I saw him fighting on their side. My son? I don't believe it. How you feel, Dad? Never mind about me. Did you warn those turpentiners? Yes, I did. I never thought a son of mine would ever fight against his old friends and kin. Well, you don't think I'd do that, do you? There's no use lying. These men saw you. Then we caught him running away. I wasn't running away. And I fought against no one, Dad. Dad? I'm no dad of yours. Now, you get your things and get out. I'm through with you. you were 
leaving. I thought you might need your rope. Thanks, Millie. You'll be coming back. Perhaps, I don't know. Well, I'll be waiting for you. For me? Why should you wait for me? Because I think you're the finest man in the world. I'm hitting the trail, just drifting along. With my pony, I'm traveling slow. Still got them crazy ideas, huh? Well, get him out of your head and get to working before I give you another lamb basting. Yes, Pa. And if we go near town while he's here, you'll learn something besides book reading. of the Rancho, Rose of the Rio, all say hello to you. Come join our laughter, that's what we're after. Welcome the sons of the prairie. Banjo's are ringing, spurs are a-jingin', cowboys are singing in the land of old Mac Picking George Peaches. Hi, you be you in a wild little boat at the Bill of Wild Man Dad. The man kind of gave him the cold shoulder. It's all the better for us. That's right. He sort of had things about halfway sized up when he left. Maybe I better... We've got nothing to worry about yet.
better than that, Tap. Now, come on. have that animal trained, and I don't see how you do it. Well, I never could teach a horse anything. What's the secret? The secret in training a horse, Colonel, is that uh, you have to know more than the horse. How do you think an outfit like this would look for my act, Colonel? Much too good, my boy, much too good. It's not enough in character. Now, you ought to be in tatters and rags. Here, now, let me fix it for you. You ought to have it like this. Colonel! You've got to stop silence. Don't you think I know anything about the show business? I've been in it... I've been in it for years. Buttons on a clown suit. Well, I've never heard of but, anything but, like that. Uh, look at that now. Here, look at that hat. Well, mess it all up. Take it like that. Now, you look funny. Well, I'm glad you think so, Colonel, because this is your coat and hat. My coat? My hat? Why, you in some jump up and start. <laughs> Skates coach from the Wild West show. Say, what's the meaning of all these titles? Ladies and gentlemen, now what you have just seen is only a sample of the marvelous horsemanship of our star, Gene Autry. And this very afternoon in our arena, he will perform other feats of skill and daring for your entertainment. Now come early and bring your children. Good boy, Gene, that was a marvelous publicity stunt. A publicity stunt, huh? Well, this is gonna cost you plenty. Look at my sword. Now don't worry, my friend. I shall recompense you in full for all of your damages. But, my dear son. Now here's six tickets to the big show. <laughs> No. You're going to pay for this damage, Osri. And while you're paying, you might square up your old man's bill, too. I've been carrying him on the books for months. But why don't you collect from Dad? Because he's broke, that's why. He claims the turpentiners run off all his cattle. That's not true. We haven't stolen. Never mind, Millie. Figure up the cost of the damage and bring Dad's bill over to the show. See that you get your money. Thanks, Audrey. Thanks. I wish they'd stop saying us turpentine has been stealing cattle. They only do it to keep up the fuel. Your pa's not broke. He's got plenty of cattle. How do you know? Because I saw them up on Bear Meadow where he's been grazing. Bear Meadow? I'm going up there and take a look. I'll see you this afternoon. Get off. 
off of that horn. What are you doing up here? Just looking over the cattle. They're in pretty good shape, aren't they? Never mind that. Your name's Autry, ain't it? Oh, I know. My name's Smith. I'm a stranger in these parts. Don't give us any of that. I've seen your pictures on the Wild West posters. All right, I am, Autry. What are you doing with my father's cattle? Never mind the questions. Start walking. Circle A stairs over to Fox Canyon. Leave a herd of mine in place of them. You better take Autry with you. Right. Come on, we don't want to miss a show. Nine. That's eight. Five to seven. What twenty you owe me? Well, this is going to be a hand of stud, boy. All right, give me something, something to show from here. I ain't been picking up anything here. I ain't been winning. No, I haven't got anything myself. Well, I think this is mine. Going to be mine. All right, give me in there. Use two pairs. All right, give me them cards. Give me some good ones, will you? Well, I'll give myself some. All right. Come on. Good. If there's any good cards, put out. <laughs>
doesn't make an appearance, I've got to give the customers their money back. What a catastrophe. What a loss. It's almost time for your number now, Ramblers. Get busy here. Get ready. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain, coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. When the circus comes to town, I want to see the old urn shooting match from A to Z. I want to see the clown as he runs about the town. I want to hear the sting piano play. contest. Have patience, ladies and gentlemen. Gene Autry will positively appear after the next event. The Bulldogging Contest. Let her go.
Put on Autry's clothes. He's next on the program, and I want you to impersonate him. But I can't sing. Well, you don't have to. You can do this, can't you? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that's all you got to do. I'll take care of the rest of it. Now, hurry up. Here, give me that mask. Keep him from talking. The Indian attacked is the next event. There ought to be a lot of shooting in that. What do you say if we help him? Okay. I'm going back today, back to Santa Fe. To see the ones I left long years ago The sun shines every day Back in Santa Fe I long to see the cactus bloom once more Train keep on a-going Keep your whistle blowing Tell the folks I'm on my way There's a cabin in the valley I know I'll find my Sally Waiting for me down in Santa Fe splendid, my boy, absolutely splendid, which only goes to prove that deception is an art. Thanks to old Colonel Millhouse, I've saved the day. On the box office receipts. <laughs> Tell you about it after the show. Wait, don't go in there. I've got a double in there for you. If Watrys would be one too many. Call him out and I'll take his place in the finale. Hey, Joe. Joe, ride in there and get Watrys double. Just act like you're one of the cowboys. And remember, tomorrow we present another big show with new thrills, new chills, and different feats of skill and daring. Hello, Sheriff. Pretty good show, wasn't it? Yeah. Come on, get up, you bungling oaf. The show is over. Here. Man's been shot. 
Autry. I thought that was you. So did the man that fired the shot. What's that? Wasn't this an accident? I don't think so, Sheriff. Take him to one of the tents. Gene, why was that man taking your place? Because I wasn't here to go on. I had some trouble with cattle rustlers up on Bear Meadow. Cattle rustlers? So the turpentiners are at it again. I wouldn't be so sure that it's the turpentiners. Get your men and meet me at Dad's ranch. If we catch those fellows with the cattle, then we'll find the man that fired the shot. I'll meet you there as quick as I can. Right in here, Doctor. Gene. Say, you better stay out of sight. Your life's in danger. I'd sure like to get my hands on the coward that'll shoot a man in the back. Hey, look. There's somebody in your tent. Millie, what are you doing here? Pa found out I'd been to town and beat me. Oh, please don't let him find me. I'm never going home again. Now, don't cry. You won't have to. I'll get you a job with the show. Will you? Well, sure. You're a regular old stagecoach jumper offer, aren't you? <laughs> you wait in here out of sight until I get back. Do you know anything about this, Sam? No, sir, Mr. Audrey. We don't know a thing about it. Well, when Sheriff Martin gets here, tell him I've gone to Bayless Bainham's cabin. Yes. Club to death. I'm sorry you did this, Gene. Well, you must be joking. I didn't do it. You're holding the gun that was used as a club. Yours, isn't it? Well, yes, but those rustlers took it from me that I was telling you about. I found it beside Bainham. How'd you happen to come over here? I found this in Dad's hand. It belongs to Bainham. So Bainham killed your pa, huh? That's what I thought at first, but... And then you kill Bainham. Listen, Sheriff. You're thinking just what they want you to think. Can't you see this as a frame-up? Why don't you ask those rustlers who have my father's cattle upon Bear Meadows? Carter? Yeah? Take some men and see what you can find. I'll have to hold you, Gene. 
But I hope you're telling the truth. doing up here. They must be looking for bailers. I wonder why it be. Bailers. Sheriff had ought to be handcuffed. Must have been him that done it. Oh, it ain't no doubt of it. But they won't do nothing to him because he's a cattleman. Call the men together, Hank. What for? Because we're going to town and do something about it. Exceedingly unfortunate circumstance, Jean, and you have my sincere sympathy. But you really shouldn't have killed her, Paul. I did it. I killed him. You? Yes. I hit him with a poker when he tried to beat me. But I didn't mean to kill him. I'm the one who should be in jail, not Jean. You're wrong, Millie. You didn't kill your stepfather, and neither did I. We'll prove it as soon as the sheriff's men get back from Bear Mountain. Fine, Carter. I heard of Parker's cattle. Not a circle A steer in sight. Or a rustler either. But I saw him there this morning. You say there was nothing but Parker's cattle? You heard me. Look, the cotton tanner. Stop. Gene didn't kill him. You're making a mistake. Ah, uh, you're saying that because you're sweet on him. But it ain't gonna do you no good. No, no. Come on, man. Come on. What do you men want? We want all three for the killing of Bayless Bainham. That ain't been proved yet. Proved enough for us. We're going to get him. I warn you, keep your distance. Autry's a cattleman, and all you men are cattlemen. You won't do nothing to him. Autry will stand trial and get what's coming to him. Gee. Stand aside, Sheriff. What are you cattlemen doing defending Autry? He's not one of us. He's against us and his own father. You keep out of this, Parker. Sheriff, those cattlemen are my friends. And I'm not going to stand by and see him fight for a man who's not worth it. A man who's a traitor to his own kind. That's all I've got to say. Sheriff, do we get Autry? Now, maybe I can settle this difficulty. Now, naturally, you men are all upset over what's happened. But I think this matter can be settled peacefully. Now, suppose we just call it all off and go down and see the show. Now, I've got some tickets here. Yeah, but we're going to put on our own show. Get out of the way. <laughs> They pulled the bars out. He got away. Yeah, them ranchers tricked us. So you cattlemen held us off so you could help Autry escape, huh? Well, you ain't going to get away with it. Uh, we don't even know what you're talking about. Parker. Autry's escaped. Escaped? Yeah, the turkey hunters claim us cattlemen helped him. There's going to be trouble. Come on inside. Good thing I have the men move the Autry cattle to Fox Canyon. Seat for that last shipment of Circle A cattle is gone. Autry's been here. We've got to get him before he gets to the sheriff. Right. You won't have to look far. You made a bad mistake, Parker, when you put your herd in place of that Circle A cattle on Bear Meadow. When I heard that, I had a pretty good hunch who to look for. 
I suppose we all go see the sheriff. Parker's the man who killed your father, and mine too. He was using the few to cover up his cattle rustling. I'm going up to Fox Canyon and get him, and you take this paper to the sheriff and stop their fight. fortunate for you rascals that I was shooting blanks in my pistol. Blanks? 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 Sure, we were all shooting blanks.
the saddle and the clear blue sky above. It's there I long to be, cause it's where a man is free. Sing me a song of my love. Hey, team, don't forget we're all going to stay in town for the wedding. Whoopee! <laughs>